Hello, my freedom-loving friends, and welcome to another Situation Report. Today is day 269 of the Ukraine-Russia war, and let's start off with the deep state map. Okay, guys, so um, the situation near Vodomin and opening has been clarified, and so that's in this area here and if we come to the map so you can see that they were closer to Pervomisk and if we come back to today they lost some ground and gained a little bit of ground here and this is around Adivka um, and that is all of the map change or clarifications not to say that there isn't a lot of uh, fighting going on because there is like Russia is really desperate for a win guys and they're, they're throwing a bunch of um, troops over here in Bakhmut, Adivka, Volder, Volderhar um, and as a matter of fact I'll zoom in on this and you can see that they've got half of Pavlivka However, no, uh, you can see this was just two, three days ago, and they did manage to capture some, but they're still defending it, and they haven't captured it completely. So while they lost her son, um, they gained just a little bit of ground, guys, and they're desperate for some kind of win. Did they get every, anything here? Was there a change here, Marinka? No, just the little arrows where they're attacking. So that is all, guys. All right, so let's go to the Russian losses. And we're sitting at a total of 336,520. Um, killed in action, 83,880. And if we go back to yesterday, we were at 83,460. And so we have seven armored combat vehicles, six tanks, and two artillery. And that is all on this one. And I also like to check this one, guys. Um, as you can see, they lost 420 troops seven armored uh, personnel vehicles, two vehicles and fuel tanks, uh, six tanks, two artillery, five UAVs, one special equipment, six cruise missiles as well. Um, and let's keep on going. And for the major news, guys, uh, Tendar was reporting that something hit the port of Novorosk in Russia last night could be a Ukrainian USV and um, there's a little video so let's check this out I'm not sure if it's got sound or not and I don't really see anything but there's the explosion right in the middle and we got a little bit more news on that. So let's. Um, this is the war zone. And they report that uh, a possible drone boat attack on a Russian port. And video shows what is said to be a kamikaze drone boat attacking a port inside Russian territory. And uh, unconfirmed footage. That is claimed to be Ukrainian kamikaze drone attack on Cherhusky's harbor in Russia's Black Sea port of Novorysk has been published online by Russian media outlets. And the video appears to be from a closed circuit television camera that is trained on the harbor over the road. And that's the same video that I just showed you guys. Um, no sound or anything like that so it looks like it it was an unmanned boat suicide 
And then we've got, uh, this is a major happening today. Uh, Russian authorities confirmed that a gas grid got attacked in St. Petersburg. And it must have happened in the forest east of Moreno, Russia has their high pressure gas pipelines which also feed the gas power station near Mavrinki and you can see the pipeline this is the red um, where the pipeline goes through and I believe we've got some video here of um, what's happening here here we go let this load up. And I think this one's got some sound to it. Бахнуло. Грохот был такой, что дрожат окна. И сейчас дрожат. So this is supposedly what I've what I've found is uh, partisans or Russians that because this is in St. Petersburg. I'm not sure why uh, or how that happened. Okay, so now we've got uh, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak from uh, Great Britain. He's uh, in Kiev right now, and here's uh, Zelensky greeting him. Might be copyrighted music, but I'm not to play that. Uh, this is pretty ballsy, guys. You know, when you've got the prime minister um, coming to Kiev, and why I say that is because, you know, sadly, my president, Joe Biden, he hasn't gone to Kiev. So I'd really uh, like to see him go there. So, President Biden, if you're watching this, please go visit uh, Vladimir Zelensky in Kyiv. That would look really nice. Look how you get to make a nice little video. And so they they went there today and they announced another round of uh, of aid. So the UK will provide Ukraine with 125 anti-aircraft guns and special equipment to fight Iranian UAVs and here you can see these gentlemen here and it's a total of 50 million pounds which is about 60 million US dollars um, right on thanks a lot guys so that was really nice and then we've got Newsweek reporting uh, Russians fleeing Crimea amid, amid fears of Ukrainian advance. Um, this was pretty interesting, guys. So let's see here. Russians are fleeing Crimea among fears that Ukrainians will soon move to recapture the region that Vladimir Putin illegally annexed in 2014, according to local media reports. And uh, just says that they're really in fear, guys. This is really interesting. And they're moving out. And so, guys, I wanted to show you what uh, what Ukraine is looking like now that it's snowing. And I've got a couple of these new videos. Uh, internet is really slow right now. But here's a pair of Ukrainian T-64 tanks driving in the snow. Boy, I wonder if this will load up. Well, I should we just move on. Got a couple of more videos that are even better than that. Okay, this is a Ukrainian BTR-4 engaging Russian positions early this morning. This was, uh, this morning is yesterday for us. And let's check this out. I know we got some. Oh. I would 
not like to be on the receiving side of that. Okay, and this was in the Donetsk Oblast. Okay, and then what do we have here. Okay, armed forces of Ukraine send gifts to the occupiers. Jingle bell, jingle bell. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's copyrighted. You can see all the snow. It's got to be freezing out there. Well, it is freezing out there. But it looks like these guys are still doing their job. Okay, now. And here we have uh, Ukrainian defenders warming themselves. Yeah, copyright music. You can see them all sitting around the fire. It is cold out there, freezing and snowing. They look like they're pretty warm, though. Right? All the camel camouflage matches. And let's keep on going. This was an interesting report here um, from UK Inform. Defense Ministry predicts Ukrainian forces will be back in Crimea by the end of December. And uh, U Ukraine's defense forces could be back in Crimea by the end of December. And the war with Russia will be over in the spring of 2023. So that... <laughs> I'm really hoping so, guys. I, don't, I hope you guys uh, really want an end to this war as well. Um, this is a brand new, guys, this is a brand new YouTube channel that I made. I got into this uh, kind of late. And uh, if you would, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel. It would really help me out. And hopefully I can put an end to it in the spring of 2023 like i really hope this war ends and so uh deputy minister of defense ukraine vladimir hartlov expressed such an opinion in an interview with sky news uh, ukrainian forces could be back in crimea by the end of december and the entire war with russia will be over by the spring so let's hope so I really want this war to be over. And, boy, I wanted to show you guys this. Um, Omsic Mobix reviewing a sleeping tent that is in a disastrous condition. As we can understand from the video, they are meant to be moving into these tents. And the terrible mess was left behind by the previous shift. So, this is really ugly, guys. Um... I want to show you this like they have no uh, pride in where they're staying like these are mobilized guys that just uh, they don't want to be there and you can tell and so let's watch this следующая палатка печки все сломано срача не мере все разломано все кровати сломаны воняет мочой I mean, you can just see it. It's just a mess. And he's going through it saying all the beds are broken. Um, they don't pick up after themselves. No stoves in the whole tent. На всю палатку. Ладно, печка сломанная. The stove is broken. Все дыры, все в дырах. Что происходило? Кто здесь спал? А напомню. I mean, wow. You never see this in an American barracks, okay? Like this is a, uh, I can't believe this. And then we have another one here of this mobilized soldier. I wanted to show you guys this because uh, just that the way that they treat these guys, you see them throwing the boots at them. Like, uh, shoe size. I don't know. 
Oh my goodness, guys. So, um, I don't even want to see that anymore. That is, like, that's why they're going to run and not, not do anything. And uh, I did want to show this, guys. This is uh, the first train from Kiev arrived and liberated her son, and residents came out to greet it. You can see the train is painted. It looks really nice. So that's the end of that video. And then we have um, Amongst the Winter Kit provided to Ukrainian recruits training on UK soil will be a special token of UK support, a refillable lighter, a soldier's best friend for generations, engraved with the message Glory to Ukraine, Glory to the Heroes. And I did want to show this. This is a nice Zippo lighter. That's a nice lighter. And so guys, it, it was a slow day today. So um, I just want to thank you for spending your time with me. Like time is the most valuable product, precious product that we all have. And again, um, I'd like you to please uh, Give me a like, guys. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm doing daily uh, updates. Try to save you guys some time and take you around the world and with all the media and all the events that get published on a daily basis. And try to make it entertaining and uplifting. Uh, as you can tell, I'm pro. I'm pro Ukrainian, guys. Um, you know, freedom. I'm a freedom-loving man. And I believe that we should all be free. And uh, I really hope this war ends. So having said that, glory to Ukraine, glory to the heroes. I wish you guys a beautiful day and peace out.